Well, up next, let's look back to the 2023 summer grazing tour that took place around several eastern Nebraska operations. The focus of this year's tour was to help ag producers better understand the wants and needs of urban consumers. Market Journal's Bill Dodd brings us a look from that event. And so our farm has really had a lot of big ups and downs and stops and starts and changes. And uh, it's been quite a voice. Yeah, it's important. I don't care what kind of producer you are. Your uh, producers are interconnected. It's a big sorority, a big fraternity, if you will. Um, while the systems are extremely different, there's a lot of commonalities. Uh, they run businesses. They need to be profitable. Uh, we in, uh, at the Institute, whether it's our teaching and learning programs through CASNR or Extension, uh, we've got a number of our Extension professionals out here today, or thinking about research. So again, kind of thinking about these integrated systems, which is what we do really well in Nebraska, and in particular at the Institute of Ag and Natural Resources, this is just an opportunity, again, I think, for, for folks who depend on the, having food to know where their food comes from and then a way to bring people together to find that commonality, I'd say, is the thread of the day. Another couple in Hedge to see a lot more of just uh, an hour or so. Uh, Bodie's Place, it'd be great to see. They've spent years in prescribed fire, uh, restoring grasslands uh, after they've been in crop all sorts of things. And Tim sort of mentioned this, but my goal for the day. You know, you learn more by seeing and doing and networking. And one of the things I said today is we're carpooling. And I think that's very important. We want people to interact with one another. Some people that you normally wouldn't know. Uh, maybe it's a urban neighbor that you don't know. And then you can kind of tell you their, your story. They tell you theirs. And so that's on these tours. Those are the type of things you do. You get interaction. You learn a lot, and then we've got a panel discussion that you'll be able to ask a very educated, very knowledgeable panel across the spectrum, both rural and urban representatives, your questions and get their input. So I, I think it's a learning opportunity and it's a growth opportunity. And great seeing everybody here. Yeah, I'm Walt Schott, uh, Professor Emeritus with the University of Nebraska Lincoln in my area of research. Management. Yeah, well, of course, we think about the food, the fuel, the feed, the fiber that we need for a growing world, and we think about Nebraska's role in that, being the third largest ag economy, uh, both uh, regionally uh, here in Nebraska, the Midwest, the High Plains, but the U.S., North America, and the world. And it really does all start with producers, and so this is a great, this operation uh, here is a great example of a first generation farmer. I think we just heard that where they pulled in their parents. So it was kind of inverse, right? The folks are learning from the kids. And then this family has three little ones who are like eight to 14. So they're learning from mom and dad. And it's this really neat interface of uh, direct marketing to people in Lincoln and Omaha. And so a neat chance, we've got some of the most amazing ranchers here from across Nebraska, and I've been to their places. For them to invest with fellow food producers and fellow stewards is just really pretty spectacular. Mm -hmm.